Now I'm not gonna count this one but I have to say it In an episode of South Park You can actually see the kids playing World at War Oh man you've got to be kidding me Goddamn jabs are everywhere I'm gonna start off with number one being the one that I recently talked about in the Black Ops video. Part of Reznov's plan in the Varkuta mission actually ties back to World at War. On the first zombies map, Nocturne Toten, right at the main staircase, there's some writing on the wall that says you must ascend from darkness. So on eviction, when you run into the first German soldier that's getting killed, one of the soldiers actually say, This is not war. This is murder. I seen something saying that this line is inspired from the movie The Patriot. I'm not 100% how sure that is. I personally couldn't find that exact quote. There is a part where he says this is murder. That's all I found though, so he didn't say the exact line. Now we ain't gonna count this one, but I do want to throw it in. The iconic main menu music on World at War, titled Brave Soldat, actually has some lyrics that say Sturb mit mir, which is basically saying saying die with me, die with me, good soldier. Number three is for the hardcore Call of Duty fans. Now me personally, I was probably way too young to know anything about these characters, but there's actually a character that's from Call of Duty 3 named Private Guzzo. Supposedly in a second mission, during Little Resistance you can actually spot him. From what it seems like, the characters change every time you play the mission, and I was struggling. I restarted at least 10 times and I just could not get him to pop up. It has to be somebody out there that's seen it. Drop a comment if you've seen guzzo in this mission all right number four we're jumping into Doris real quick i have no idea what's going on or what treyarch was trying to tell us but it's really some shit going on apparently der reese is based on a real top secret german research facility in poland i mean you can find real images like aerial view shots where you can see what clearly looks exactly like the fly trap the real der reese was almost completely underground and apparently they were working on some type of experimental weapons i don't know what all is possibly true because it seems like there's a lot of theories some of those including anti-gravity teleportation and time travel the hinge or the fly trap which is above ground in the photo supposedly works in conjunction with the bell the bell was described as a saucer shaped device made from a hard heavy metal that was filled with a substance that's similar to mercury there's a theory that the scientists and technicians that that worked on the bell and did not die were eventually wiped out by the SS. Next, the device was moved to an unknown location, which leads to say that the SS official Hans Kammler secretly traded it to the US, and that was basically the price he paid for his freedom. That was a long number four. I don't know how long this video is about to be. Get something to drink, some damn snacks. Shit, you might as well go for a jog. Bear Reese also introduced us to the Bowie knife. Crawlers could now jump and grab the barricades and specifically on their reese when somebody would be playing the player's xbox live gamer card would basically list the said person as bathing in nazi zombie blood the large clock in the main courtyard reads 115 referring to element 115 but if you were to look closely you can see that the hands on the clock are skipping and they're just stuck in place it's basically just to symbolize that they're stuck in this never-ending time loop next we have the map making on one of the tables you can actually find a fish with a hitler's youth knife stabbed through it number eight we're gonna go back to the mission little resistance this personally is one of my favorites because i just recently found out about it right before you push into the main bunker if you take the left side you can push through these tunnels and you'll find a japanese soldier that's actually pulling the pin on a grenade and committing suicide now on little resistance hopefully everybody knows how to get the ray gun already when you get to the part 
part where you have to blow up the tanks with the artillery you actually can use the ray gun and it's a lot faster which i genuinely did not know i just randomly tried it and it worked i'm sure plenty of people already know it number 10 during the mission eviction you eventually come up behind this group of nazis that have this little setup inside of a building if you hold off from shooting right away the soldiers are actually talking about how bad of a situation they're in and how they plan to flood the metro which is a pretty cool detail because the tunnels do wind up getting flooded later on in the mission now if you somehow spoke german or broken german whatever they're speaking because i'm pretty sure they had people that spoke english just do a fake german accent they're basically giving you free info on where the mission is heading and what's going to happen in the future number 11 gary oldman voices world war ii russian squad leader sergeant reznov in call of duty world at war but we ain't done because Kiefer sutherland actually did the voice of robot and honestly the best part is that there's actual footage of this today is that day do not stop shooting now oh, keep your heads down cleave their heads from their shoulders we are taking this damn flag ah! we must achieve victory light them up Number 12, despite having the most graphic violence of the series as well as the highest profanity count, World at War was shipped as a Peggy 15 whereas most other Call of Duty games ship with a Peggy 18 rating. All of the original zombie maps come from multiplayer maps which are inspired from the campaign mission so really everything's coming from campaign. To keep it simple though, Nocturne Toten is basically a reused building from Airfield and Rerucked is a reconstructed asylum, Shino Numa takes heavy influence influence from knee deep and Der Reese is based on Nightfire. Now I'm not sure if this is intentional or not but on the mission Their Land Their Blood which features Sergeant Reznov of course like we mentioned earlier voiced by Gary Oldman it is possible to pick up a death card which is named the Joker. Oddly enough Gary Oldman stars in the Dark Knight as a detective which of course has the main antagonist being the Joker. Jumping into number 15 several moments in this game mirror enemy at the gates this is a movie from 2001 one of the best examples is when you wake up in the fountain on vendetta and you're crawling through the dead bodies the most obvious similarity though is the department store cat and mouse game versus a german sniper the line third floor fourth window from the left is identical to the movie look third floor fourth window from the left fourth window from the left Alright, this one doesn't count either, but I'm going to tell y'all that Gary Oldman was once pulled over and charged with drunk driving in 1991, and incidentally, Kiefer Sutherland was his passenger. During 2009, World at War was the only Call of Duty game that didn't feature the British. Coming in at 17, supposedly the developer that put the ray gun easter egg on Little Resistance was actually almost fired. I'm assuming this is because at the time they were trying to take it as serious as possible when it came to depict in war and you can imagine the last thing they probably wanted was statues coming up out of the ground with ray guns number 18 when using a certain class of weapon in multiplayer an appropriate skin is used to match the class each class and faction has a different skin for example when using a bow action rifle such as the car 98 the mosin nagant or springfield a ghillie suit will be equipped and each country has its own unique ghillie suit this is back in the day before you could run around as an actual tree these skin changes of course also happen with submachine guns shotguns rifles or machine guns this is another one that i won't count but we gotta give a shout out to sean murray this man destroyed the soundtrack like he really carried we gotta we can't not talk about it coming in at number 19 lieutenant general heinrich amsel is the main antagonist this is during the vendetta mission his character model is actually shared with dr edward richtoff so this is basically the origin of Richtofen's character. On Verrucked, if you were somehow able to no clip through the power room wall, there's this floating yellow sign with a baby zombie on it. Now I don't think this is there for a specific reason, other than a developer just leaving it there while they were working on the map. Considering it's outside the map, they have no real reason to worry about it. Hopefully y'all enjoyed, let me know down in the comments if y'all got any details or anything specifically that you can think of maybe we can do some more of these but besides that i will see y'all in the next video